Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program. God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth. Now, Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God. Grace and peace be unto you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's great blessing in obedience. The first miracle that the Lord Jesus Christ ever performed in the marriage feast of Cana of Galilee was the direct result of implicit obedience. I believe the shortest, the sweetest and the most powerful message that was ever preached was that of Mary when she said in John's Gospel chapter 2 and verse 5, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. Now for our today's morning devotion, let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 81 and verse 10. I am the Lord, the God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Here the psalmist very clearly reviews the blessedness of opening a mouth to praise and worship the Lord, seeing that he has brought us out of Egypt. Look at the opening verse of this psalm. Psalm 81 verse 1, Aesop says, Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Friend, we can pray silently like Hannah of old, but we cannot praise God silently. When Paul and Silas were in the inner cell of the prison, they offered unto the Lord loved audible praises, and the foundation of the prison was shaken. We read in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16 and verse 25, And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. In other words, if our mouth is bound, and if we are not able to open our mouth and praise and worship the Lord, it may imply that we are still bound in the land of Egypt. Those who open their hearts and mouth to praise the Lord and adore God are indeed free from the bondage of Egypt. As we know, Egypt stands for sin and Satan. But listen to the heart's cry of our God in Psalm 81 verses 11 and 12. My people would not hearken to my voice and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust and they walked in their own counsels. Just as it happened thousands of years ago, even now, some are not hearkening to the voice of God in this respect, that is, in opening the hearts and mouth to praise and worship the Lord. What happened to the people who did not open their mouth to praise God? In verse 12, God gave them up to their hearts' lust that they may walk in their own counsels. If we are not willing to open up to God, we will not be able to do the will of God. But on the other end, consider the blessing in obeying the command to open our mouth and praise God. The Bible says that we will find that our enemies are subdued by God. Look at verses 13 and 14 of Psalm 81. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. Look at another blessing in opening the mouth and heart to praise and glorify God. Look at verse 16 of that same psalm. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. What a blessing in opening the mouth and heart to praise and glorify God. We can receive the finest of wheat. In other words, the best spiritual food, the word of God, 
and ani out of the rock while the rock is one of the hardest substances on earth ani is one of the sweetest things on earth it means as we go through the hardest or the most difficult path like a rock the lord will turn them into sweetest experiences like honey therefore take a decision today to open your mouth wide to praise and worship the lord so that the lord may fill us with his best god bless you amen